look, everybody wants your money. Every um, organization would like some of Bill Gates' money. How do you decide which to support and which not? Well, once you see the incredible role that vaccines or other health interventions can have, it's a pretty tough threshold. Can you save a life for a few thousand dollars? Now, some of the things we do in agriculture, in savings and sanitation, we see those as also incredibly effective. But we've picked the areas that we understand and that have this uh, amazing effect. And those are the things that for our lifetime, we're gonna stay focused on. Can you understand how people think um, that countries like India and China and rich individuals within these booming countries should themselves be doing more to help their own countries? Well, I think that's one of the great news pieces about India. India is putting more and more money in their own health system. So even the UK development aid that goes to India has decreased over time because India is starting to have their own aid that they're giving in their countries. I think if you see a country like Korea, who's gone from being a recipient country, who's now a donor country, or you see, think of Thailand, no new net aid goes to Thailand anymore. These are countries that are getting on the way, on their path, and it's because of those early investments in development aid that allows them to do that. So countries now who may be having second thoughts about investing in India or China, countries like Britain, for instance, uh, going through an incredible time of austerity, huge spending cuts to be announced this week. Could you understand if Britain uh, said we're not going to give so much in overseas aid, that we've got enough problems here? Well, certainly Britain should make its, its own decision, but it has a proud history of being very generous to these poor countries. China is rich enough that cutting off aid to China makes a lot of sense. And in India, it's really only in the north. Uh, up there in the north, you have over 100 children dying for the age of five. You still have polio. You have a terrible situation in terms of the, the agricultural things that but can be done. The, but shouldn't so, the rich people in India be sorting them out, that out themselves now? There aren't... There, there needs to be the type of resources of rich governments still going up into Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. I mean, we can say for sure that if aid is cut, more children that there will die. India is poor enough. Now, a decade from now, they may be off of aid. The aid was 2% of their economy. Now it's 0.2% of their economy, but it's very catalytic. These programs show how things should be done, and they're saving a huge number of lives. So. We spend our money, you know, hard-earned money, on northern India. We go there to make sure it's going to work well. And we also see the, the British money. And believe me, that is, is having a fantastic effect. So, uh, you know, we, we believe that the, the poor there deserve continued support. I mean,